An Indian pilot who wants to fly Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dreams is entangled in what is being dubbed as red tapism. The spending years, Amul Yadav, a pilot with a private airline, had built a six-seater aircraft on the terrace of his residence in Mumbai. Now, it was also featured in the government's Make in India program. And not only that, Yadav had the backing of the Maharashtra government as well, which had offered him land and funds to build a 19-seater plane. Now, Yadav is on the verge of completing his 19-seater aircraft and it will be the first one to be built indigenously. However, he's not happy with the Indian government's response to his creations. His earlier built six-seater plane hasn't taken off, even after waiting for almost six years for approvals. Now, this means that his 19-seater aircraft project will also be held up. The Maharashtra government wants a demonstration of the six-seater flight first and the aviation regulator has consistently refused to register Yadav's aircraft over the years. Now, this denying him the ability to demonstrate that it can fly even though Yadav's project has got the Prime Minister Office's approval, the DGCA is creating roadblocks. At his efforts going ways, the frustrated, ya frustrated individual is planning to move to the United States with the project. Now he's approached the U.S. Federal Aviation Authority to register his aircraft there, an indigenous 19-seater plane being built by Amul Yadav, would be a boost for India's aircraft manufacturing industry and will also help create jobs in the sector and is also a boost to Prime Minister Modi's Make in India campaign. And also Vyond's correspondent Pragya Jha spoke to the pilot himself. Let's listen in to what he had to say. Let's go across to Captain Amol Yadav and find out why his dream is something that's still shelved. Why hasn't he been able to see his dream so high? Captain Amol Yadav, tell us about your dream. You have designed an aircraft. When did you first envision designing this aircraft? Well, uh, I did my flying training in US. And when I was doing my training, I did, uh, me and few of my friends, we bought the airplane together and we did our training on that. So when I was uh, 19 years old, I had my own airplane and uh, this was in US, of course. And while com after coming back, I thought that after coming back to India, I will make the airplanes in India. So that is when I started thinking of making the airplane. And after coming back to India, I realized that uh, in past 70 years, it was actually 20 years back. So in those uh, 50 years, nobody in India had made the airplane. And the situation is still the same after 70 years of independence we have not built any airplane which is successful enough so my dream is we sh we as india we as indians we should make the airplanes and start manufacturing the airplanes here in india uh, captain this indeed is a very sad thought that we've come to that uh, perhaps there are no provisions or you know we haven't expanded our horizons enough our systems have not been modified so as to accommodate you know such kind of uh, progressive thinking or proactiveness that you know one goes out and creates something but the prime minister really takes forward this message of indigenous you know the indigenous creation of uh, of things and your aircraft is one of the one of the most important ever so what is your thought really what is your message what do you urge at this time uh, as of today we as indians uh, we should believe that we can make it i have made i have demonstrated i have made one six seater single engine airplane which was just a demonstration of capability i have already started working on 19 seater airplane as of today we should believe ourselves that yes we can make the airplane and let us make DGCA understand that it's very long time now that you cannot have this attitude now. They are regulators and they don't like to be questioned. And if they are questioned, they do even more weird things. DGCA is very famous for doing those weird things. They have been doing it. Even in this case, they have done it. Now with the new draft car which they have come up with, they are saying that uh, in uh, 11, 2011 when I made the application, the weight on my application was 1600 kgs. As of now, they have restricted the weight to 1500 kgs. That means even if the new car comes, I cannot fly my airplane.
and there is no reasoning behind those 1500 kgs so this attitude of dgca needs to be changed and we as indian we have to tell our system that you need to change now that's right we hope that some notice is taken after this report we hope that captain amol yadav's project does not get entangled and lost in technicalities of the ministry and we hope that officials concerned sit up and take notice and take the right action required with with the journalist kiran umbrigar in mumbai pragya jha for vion